Praise the Lord, everybody. I want to thank you for joining our Church Without Walls devotional segment. My name is Pastor Casey Adams. And before we jump into the Word of God, I invite you to bow your heads with me as we pray. Father God, we are so thankful that you are so good to us that you've woke us up this morning, put us in our right mind, and able to see the dawning of a new day. We ask, so oh God, as we open up your word, that your presence would be with each and every one of us. That you'd open up our hearts and our minds to receive that what you have had for us. And at the end, we'll be grateful and thankful for what you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'd like to read from the Word of God in the book of Psalms, chapter 121. Coming from the English Standard Version of the Bible, it says, I will lift up mine eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. You know, you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she looks for help in the time of trouble. When Moses was concerned at the Red Sea, he did not call for an army. He called on God. When Joshua went up against the city of Jericho, he did not use bombs, but he called on God. When the three Hebrew boys were facing a fiery death, they did not call the firemen. They called on God. When Daniel was about to become the main course in the lion's den, he did not call animal control. He called on God. When Esther was faced with seeing her people destroyed because of prejudice, she did not call the ACLU. She called on God. When Nehemiah saw the city of Jerusalem destroyed and in ruins, he did not call the city planners. He called on God. When Peter started to sink after walking on the water, he did not call the Coast Guard. He called on God. And when my soul is sinking, when I'm lost, when I feel like I am spiritually dying and headed down a path of destruction, I, I, I can't look to Capitol Hill. I have to look to Calvary's Hill and I need to call on God. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God has always met my needs, even in my worst times. When things looked bleak, when finances were low, or when I was low, God provided for me, and he will do the same for you. God provides for us, understand this, in spite of us. He provides in spite of who we are, what we are, and how we are. Word of God says, in Psalms chapter 121, verses 7 and 8, it says, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I want you to know that God provided for us 2020, 2019, 2018, 17, 16, and so on and so forth. 
even in those good times, he provided for us. And now we're facing a crisis. Has he left us? Are we all alone? Word of God tells us that he will never leave us nor forsake us. I want you to know that God is not just able, but he's willing to provide for us. We just have to let him. I hope my brothers and sisters that you are encouraged by this word. Know that there is no evil that will come our way that God can handle. I want you to know that there's no disease, no virus, no problem, no circumstance, no issue that God cannot handle. We have to turn this whole thing over to him. Turn over our fear, our anxiety over to God. And I promise you, my brothers and sisters, you will see a change in your life. You will see a change in your perspective. You will see a change in how you see things. God has provided for us in the good times, but even in our bad time, even in our crisis, even in our situation, even in our problems right now, God is still providing for us. No, it's not in the form of checks that will be distributed out to us. It's not in the form of uh, unemployment, benefits, anything like that. Those things are good, but God, the way God can provide for us, it's bigger than your imagination. God says, I can do above and beyond what you can think or imagine. So my brothers and sisters, I am encouraging you to hold fast to your faith, turn things over to him, and know that God will provide. I pray for each and every one of you and your families that you stay safe, that you stay healthy, and I hope to see you very, very soon. God bless you.